First off, a big shout out to today's sponsor, Whatnot. Most of the sets featured in this video are going to be auctioned off in my future Whatnot streams. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. So who remembers this place? It used to be full of Lego. I featured it on my other channel, Brixie Talks. And now we can see that it is empty. That's because Kevin and I, that's the brick building biker, we just finished loading it into our vehicles and we're getting ready to haul all the Lego over to the studio. These cabinets were full of Lego sets. These are like the PAX wardrobe units that we use in the studio to display all of the large sets and all five of them were full. Plus this table had a little city scene on it and so did this one here. And there's a little billy unit right there beside that table and more cabinets over here all of which are now empty. Plus this cabinet right here, it used to be full of parts. Those are the parts that I was sorting the other day. And in front of it, you can see all of the boxes from the sets that we hauled out of here. The boxes, they're gonna have to come in a separate load just because our vehicles are literally loaded. And it's more than just two vehicles, it's also a trailer. And here it is. There are a ton of sets loaded into this trailer here. Holy, there's the roller coaster there the Batwing, UCS TIE Fighter, Gunship, the Silent Mary, bags and bins just loaded full of stuff, the 89 Batmobile on top, all sorts of minifigures. There's the Daily Bugle that's been dismantled, boxes back there for all the Technic vehicles like the supercars, there's the Ghostbusters HQ, all sorts of modular buildings and much more. And the truck towing that trailer has a truck bed full of stuff as well. You can see some Creator Expert vehicles in there. There is a T-Rex Rampage, the Spider-Man Bridge Battle, Elf Clubhouse, Pirates of Barracuda Bay, a Viking ship along with some parts, the Johnny 5, which is a rebrickable model of the big like excavator. There's Technic vehicles, which are just stacked in a bin. There's a Luke Skywalker's X-Wing and much more. And the back of my vehicle is also loaded up full of cool stuff. There is a Ninjago City Gardens, Haunted House, Tantive, First Order Star Destroyer, and many others distributed among those boxes and bags. It's a beautiful October day here. Like I'm wearing a t-shirt, but also I was scraping the frost off my vehicle this morning. But now that we're all loaded up, it's time to haul the stuff over to the studio. It's the moment of truth. Did everything survive? The modular buildings are in one piece. Everything looks good. Right on, even the roller coaster. Wow, it all made it. Good driving, Kevin. <laughs> That's awesome. We got it all unloaded and I moved it over to the open space here in the studio. And this is the view from the kitchen area right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks a lot more immense when it's all grouped together. Like, wow, we've got sets on the medieval area right there. That's all the modular buildings and things that can go into Lego City. Then there's the massive Star Destroyer and bins and bags full of everything. So I gotta try and unpack it all because there might've been some damage while moving and I've gotta try to piece it all back together. So I wanna try and unbox it bin by bin, bag by bag, lay it all out, piece it back together as I'm doing that, and just, you know, take it all in. It's gonna be a ton of work, and I don't know if it's gonna fit in that space down there because you can see the bins barely fit in that space, so I'm probably gonna have to tidy up all this bulk that I started sorting the other day and put it underneath these black tables here. So I can move some of the sets up here and use these tables as a storage solution and a workspace for now. So this is a lot of Lego sets, everybody, and a lot of these sets are already in my collection. I purchased them from the Brick Building Biker. He was looking to off his collection in one big chunk, and he offered it to me, and I was like, uh, I thought about it for a while, and... I decided to go for it just because I thought it would be super interesting to go through all of this bulk. It would be very cool to have for the Lego City. And I thought it would be really interesting to have all of these sets, a lot of which are retired, so that I could feature them during my whatnot shows. 
So a lot of these sets are actually going to be sold via auction starting at $1 during my Whatnot shows or they'll be featured in my Buy It Now store. Whatnot is a live stream platform where you can buy, sell, and auction literally anything. It's really neat because sellers can host live streams and interact with buyers live. And the shows are really fun whenever I go live on there. I usually sell like 200 to 300 items, so they're pretty fast paced. You see a lot of interesting Lego items, and I've done a ton of giveaways on Whatnot as well. So a lot of this stuff here is going to be featured during my next Whatnot streams. I generally stream on Whatnot about twice a month. And my next one is pretty special. It takes place on Saturday, October 19th, starting at 12 o'clock Mountain Time. And it's part of the Beyond the Con NYC streams. What is that? Well, it's a way that you can bring the magic of New York Comic Con to the comfort of your own home. Beyond the Con is happening between October 17th and the 20th. And there are a ton of people that are going live selling interesting items ranging from from toys, Lego, comic books, pop finals, and much more. Of course, I'm not going to be able to sell all of this stuff in one day. That is crazy. It's going to take me a long time just to piece it back together, but a ton of these items are going to be featured in that show. Also, I'm going to be giving away the Lego Technic Lamborghini CN FKP37 during that stream. The giveaways are no strings attached. You don't have to make a purchase to enter in for your chance to win. And I also cover the international shipping affiliated with the giveaway. If you're not on Whatnot, you can join using my link, which is in the pinned comment and description below. And when you join using that link, you're going to get a $15 credit, which can be redeemed on your first purchase. So I've got all of this exciting stuff that's going to be featured in my future shows on Whatnot. And I also have another really exciting event coming up on Whatnot as well. I've actually partnered up with a local collector here in Edmonton, and he has a total of 60 sets, which he has reversed build, re-bagged up, and we're going to be selling those during one of my future streams as well. I think that's taking place on November 9th. That date could change, but we're talking crazy sets like Palace Cinema, Fire Brigade, Ferris Wheel, Carousel, the Sydney Opera House, and many, many more. So that's going to be a pretty hyped stream as well. But look at me go, everybody. I'm getting all this stuff unpacked. It's sort of like deja vu. When I moved my Lego collection over here, I pretty much did it the same way. There's not as much here today, but there is a ton of stuff. Not only were there sets in this collection, but there's also a bunch of minifigures as well, because of course, most of the sets down there came with minifigures, so the minifigures have gotta be somewhere, and a lot of them were actually in this bucket. Plus, there was a bunch more, and we're gonna have a look at those right away. So there's most of the sets unpacked. I put some stuff on the stairs here that I need to just work into my shelves or inventory upstairs, such as a ton of the really cool Lego Star Wars GWPs. There's going to be like medallions in there and also some of the keychains. We've got some sorted pieces and a bunch of the stunt drivers. And then, of course, that's in addition to all those minifigures that you just saw there. A ton of minifigs, that's for sure. But that's going to be a make work project because you'll notice that a lot of the sets here, they don't have their minifigures currently there either up there with all of those minifigures or they're mixed in with all of these ones here. Stormtroopers, battle droids, astromech droids, all sorts of uh, Jedi, some Sith in there as well, and just a bunch of random ones there, but pretty cool selection, that's for sure. Plus, there's all these ones down here. So I need to go through all these minifigs identify which sets they go with, if they go with the set, and then reallocate them that way. I, I think I'm best to, you know, have a look at the set. For example, look at uh, the UCS Boba Fett Slave 1 and say, okay, there's the Boba Fett in there. And I know it also comes with a Han Solo, a Carbonite, which is in the back right now, a Bespin Guard, and I believe a Stormtrooper and look at, look at uh, the listing on brickset.com and just try and go through here and be like, okay, well, there's the Besman Guard. Pick out the Besman Guard and put it with that set, and then I consider that one to be done. So I need to go through each set <laughs> individually just like that, and that's going to be a big job. But holy cow, look at all these sets, everybody. We got the 89 Batmobile, uh, BB-8, R2-D2, the really cool... Uh, Hulkbuster, 
Slave One, the Adidas Superstar, the wooden figure, the UCS Imperial Shuttle. Unfortunately, this one here, uh, the mechanism isn't attaching to the right wing. So when I turn the crank on the back, the wing isn't deploying and it's rather yellow. I believe it comes with all the minifigures though. I think, I hope, I wish. It opens like this, I should know that. There's only two in there. So there you go, that's an example of something that I'm gonna have to fix because that is a really valuable sought after set. So I need to find the minifigures for that. Uh, there's the Monster Fighters Haunted House, Batwing, Roller Coaster, TIE Fighter, Blacksmith, both of the like ultimate collectors, like the big tumblers, a bunch of at, -AT walkers with no many things, uh, Ghostbusters HQ, First Order Star Destroyer, all the creator expert vehicles that you see there, a really good selection of the Technic vehicles included in that is the orange Porsche, and also the Bugatti, the T-Rex Rampage, Thor's Hammer, Mickey and Minnie, Pirates of Barracuda Bay, the Moss Eisley, all of the random vehicles found in here, the Batman art like Gotham City, all those poly bags, a huge selection of them, and then the Land Rover Defender, the big tow truck, can't remember what it's called, heavy haul tow truck, I don't know. <laughs> Some, a bunch of TIE fighters, like a huge selection of those. All the helmets and included in the helmet, so not all of them I should say, but included in them is the TIE Fighter Pilot, so that's a good one. There's Benny's Spaceship over there, the Galaxy Explorer, the Saturn V, uh, the older Galaxy Explorer as well. The Tan of Four, this one here is the Iron Man art, like that one right there. And then there's this big selection of vehicles right here. And in that is the train, the red one, uh, the Indiana Jones set. There's some tumblers in there. There is also an Ecto-1, like the Lego Ideas Ecto-1 right there. And I've got two, two of those actually with their minifigures. There's the T-Rex breakout on the floor there. And then all the stuff on the counter too, right? There's the Star Destroyer, Boeing Dreamliner, Guardians of the Galaxy ship. I've sort of worked myself into a corner. I can't really go check it out. The old fishing store, downtown diner, Quickie Mart, uh, Parisian restaurant, bookshop, assembly square, this set, which we saw the other day. And now I have a big pile of boxes and bags that I need to go ahead and collapse or condense so that I can actually get out of here because I sort of worked myself into a corner. Oh yeah, there's also, uh, Darth Vader's castle. It's a nice looking set there. There's also the Lego truck, which I'll put into the city. There's the Razor Crest. In here, there's a bunch of brick heads as well underneath this like plate full of studs. So there's a bunch of brick heads. That's cool. Sith Trooper, Grogu, Hagrid, uh, Buzz Lightyear, Stormtrooper, Ahsoka. So that's nice. Oh, also this one here. Uh, uh, Oh no, I'm drawing a blank. No, oh, what's his name? Mac, okay, I got it, whew, <laughs> almost forgot. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a big job just going through and reallocating all of those minifigures. There's a ton of them up here and a lot of them are gonna go into like the Daily Bugles because there's a total of three Daily Bugles in the set or in this collection, but I believe there's only enough minifigures for one of them, so I can go through there, pull out all the Daily Bugle minifigures, that'll start to reduce the Marvel selection. Then I need to go through those modular buildings and put the police chief with the police station and all the other ones that I can find, and make sure all those TIE fighters have their minifigs. And yeah, it's just gonna be a little bit overwhelming. But I should start with the easy stuff that I know, like I know this is, with the 89 Batmobiles and Batwings and stuff like that. So just start with all the easy stuff that I know off the top of my head and then sort of start narrowing it down from there. And right over here in these bins, you can see there's a bunch of parts and that actually used to be a giant Avengers tower. There's more parts on top of that. So that's gonna be a nice little parts pack right there. All the one by two dark bluish gray tiles. This is a London bus. 
So that was the Saturn V launch tower. That was one thing that we dropped when we were moving. Well, I dropped it. So I'm gonna pair that up with the pieces in this bin right there. And then that should be a complete London bus. And unfortunately, when I dropped that, it went into the X-Wing. So I've got to try and fix that up as well. And then there is a bunch of like random cut up base plates and other parts that were added to the collection up here or to the stack that needs to be sorted. And this is like the three times or two and a half times daily bugles. Yeah. <laughs> so what I could do is take the pieces from that and I could make my daily bugle, which is quite prominent in the Lego city. You can see it right there. And I could make that like twice as big. I think that might be a bit ridiculous. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with all of these pieces. I'd hate to use it as a parts pack, but it's probably what I'm going to do. Just use it as a parts pack, maybe for another type of building in my Lego city something like that. There's also a bunch of cups that were added to the parts up here as well. So these are just like pab cups full of pieces. And I'll be able to work those into my inventory and a bunch of road plates that I can break down and use those as parts as well. So we can create more roads. Looks like we have a bunch of sticker or print pieces in this bin and just a ton of stuff, a ton of stuff, but let's not mistake it. This is going to be a ton of work, that's for sure. But a lot of cool stuff that you don't really see in like a big collection all together at once. And that's sort of why I wanted to do this because I think there's a lot of interesting stuff here and it uh, helped Kevin out. And I think we're gonna be able to do some pretty cool stuff with it. Although I might've underestimated, even though I knew it would be a lot of work, I probably underestimated exactly how much work it was going to be. Holy, <laughs> that's a lot of Lego right there. So I don't know if you saw it the other day, but there was more than just this here. We've got all of this stuff, which is all broken down. There's all sorts of different themes in there. We've got the old steam engine. There's the Fender guitar, the Disney castle, Kylo Ren's command shuttle, the mystery machine, the Scooby-Doo lighthouse, Sesame Street, and many, many, many more. Plus there's all these really cool sealed sets, which I don't really have access to right now, but there's brick heads, all sorts of promotional stuff, some Harry Potter sets, also City, and there's even some really big ones, such as the A-Wing and this really cool Death Star. Jeepers, this is a big collection. You don't see this every day, do you? Uh, well, yeah, I guess I, I sort of do. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there's not very many sets here that I actually need in my collection. There's a few that I'm for sure going to integrate into the LEGO City or with some of my other LEGO Technic cars. But as I've been mentioning, a lot of this stuff is going to be featured in my upcoming Whatnot streams. And my next one is on October 19th, and that one is for the beyond the con for the New York Comic Con. So if you're not on whatnot, you can join using my link. And when you join using that link, you're going to get a $15 credit, which can be applied to your first purchase. I hope you enjoyed this process of us transporting all of these incredible Lego sets and then unpacking them onto the floor here in the studio. Lots to look at, that's for sure. I love the look of it, but boy, oh boy, do I ever have my work cut out for me over the next month or so. Make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future. And everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. I highly appreciate it. Have yourselves a fantastic day, and bye for now.